don't remember any of the rest of their names, so. Not the welcome you were expecting, eh? Well, at least you had the fortune to be elsewhere when the Tahirids came for us. What happened? I, uh... Fear Alamut has fallen. I was tasked with finding help. I went into the desert to find other patrols. Then I found you. Were there... others with me? No. Only you. Then Nia lives. And Roshan? I had hoped she would be with you. Come, brother. We must head out. Find any survivors and cleanse Alamut of its infestation. I, uh... fear I cannot. How bad? I will make every last one of them pay. Vengeance is not our way, brother. Our way? You sit bleeding to death and still cling to this foolish dogma. And for what? Our creed could not protect Alamut. And neither could I. Nor I. But our beliefs are why you still draw breath. And are why you must save any of us who may yet live. On that we can agree. You have my word. All right. Well, I mean, this gives them an excuse to get to the temple and find out the information Nathan. without uh, nothing left betraying to the brotherhood. But go. So that's save good. who you can. Steady, steady, girl. All is well. All is well. Your master left you in my care. I do like this new outfit he's got. Whatever also, I like how the guy was like, our creed is why you still, breath, still draw breath. No Technically, the cost. he was All planning on blood and betraying death. the creed. Is this what could well, be her meant by preparing the way? Nihal, please be safe. Wherever you are. I mean, maybe he wasn't planning on betraying you guys, but I mean, or betraying the creed, but I mean, he was planning on at least, at least a tiny betrayal. I don't... Okay, I'm not going to answer my phone for a call from Kentucky. I don't fucking know anybody in Kentucky. I don't know what, like, a tiny betrayal is, you know? Excuse me, there is a message for you. Yeah, I can guarantee you I don't have a voicemail. There wasn't enough time for them to say anything. <gasps> Some of my clan still live. Mentor Rehan among them. I don't think you should call him a clan. It always sounds bad. I mean, it's not his fault, obviously, but it's just one of those things where it's like, as soon as you get called like a clan, it's like, eh. Wait, we all resist. I'm always humble. I've got your back. What? <laughs> yeah, are you gonna come and see what the fuck just happened? Hmm. Never a bad idea. Don't worry. We won't home. let our guard down. Mm. What the? <laughs> huh? You will suffer. Nah, you didn't see anything. I find you. Wait, just, you? huh? Who's? You're dead! There you are! Oh, fuck yeah. off. Really? A double hit? <laughs> so there's basically no point in going behind them then. 
for the big guys it might matter but obviously for these guys it really doesn't if uh <laughs> they just get to instantly turn around and attack you again But I am impatient. Show yourselves, and you will have a fighting chance of seeing tomorrow. Mm. No? Then, let us see what your mentor values. Oh, oh, God. God. Not suffer you Here, to dog! I mean, I guess I could have started with that instead of the, uh... <laughs> Instead of the assassination, but Basim, what? Basim, how? I thought you were in Baghdad. Where are the others? Roshan? I came alone for the same reason these men did. I know the truth, Mentor, about the temple and what it shelters. Our enemies told me as much. They urged me to seek it because only I could. You? Thus the Order used the Tahirids to decimate Alamut, because you... You are their key. To what? What are you protecting that is worth all this bloodshed? Ancient ground. For generations, it has been our duty to watch over it. Defend it from the Order, who seek to exploit its secrets. The temple houses its entrance, but Basim, even though it is forbidden, I have searched. There is no means to access it. Then I will find a way myself. You must not. It is what the Order wants, don't you see? If what we protect should fall into the wrong hands... It will fall into mine. Look around you, at what the Order is prepared to unleash upon us. If I can gain the knowledge they seek, it can be what finally gives us an edge in this endless war. This is the way forward. For the Hidden Ones. Oh wow, we actually got more or less permission. Uh, I'd like to know what happened to the other... Oh, there they are. Alright. Go. So, is that all of the bag? Got nope, there's a dude there. The temple. Let us finish this. Nothing and no one shall get in my way. Not now, not when I am this close. That was a bad guy right not like a, not like an assassin that I just killed yeah I'm honestly not entirely sure <laughs> now Roshan did say that if we came after this that she would kill us herself but I mean dude did like I said, more or less give us permission. I mean, we told him we were going and he didn't try and stop us, so. Yeah, these are bad It guys. will take more than you to stop me. One dude? Yeah, one dude not paying attention more to the only head. entrance in the place. Suffice yeah. to say, I am on the right path. Uh, 
We should not be here. Our orders were to secure the temple, not to... Not to enter it, I know. Damn the orders. You saw what we fought for to get here. The men we've lost. You think we will gain anything once our masters acquire what they seek? You think we will be rewarded? Of course not. Whatever it is they want in here, it must be worth a fortune. Think of all the land you could buy. The servants! Will you both shut up? Just find it quickly. We will all think a lot more clearly without you two bickering like a pair of idiots. I am curious what caused this guy to come up here and walk. It doesn't really seem to make much sense that he noticed me kill that dude or that he was dead. I mean, awfully far away. Okay, there is another chest down there, but I don't care quite that much about restocking my supplies. I mean... I don't know what I'll be coming up against, so maybe I should, but I feel like I'm pretty well equipped to deal with anything, and I highly doubt that my blow dart and throwing knives and such would be super useful against any kind of a boss that we may face. Uh, nothing to worry about. Yeah, nothing at all. See, you shouldn't have tried to enter the temple. It's making you all go crazy. I still do find the Berserk Dart kind of a shame. Compared to previous iterations of it, but... I guess it still does its job. Now to see if what magic is this. Wait. Come on, pick up. I knife. know this symbol. Yeah, you do. It was on the thing in my bobber that you picked up. Here. Oh, my health is full. So there we go. Now we got throwing knives. That should be most of our tools refilled, if not all of them completely refilled. Awesome. I mean, he said there was no way in. I mean, you could have dug. Like, did you try digging? Like, you may not have been able to get through that door, but... Yeah, that seems about right. I warned you what would happen. Last chance. Bitch, we got permission. Very well. Hmm. So it has come to this. Killing each other. Is this your idea of a brotherhood? The brotherhood is unified. There is no place for those who would set themselves up. Is that what you think I am doing? Oh. Oh. Last chance. Oh wow, that did a huge amount of damage. I wonder what happens if I do this. Oh. I trusted you! I gave you everything I had! I don't know what happens when me. I glow. 
you knew. That seems like a bit much. Yield. Yield. Basim. Leave her. Come. I never wanted this. But I need to know. I do not want to lose you. To what you may find in there. You do not have to look to the past to know who you are. Who you can be. You can choose, Basim. Put your faith in me. I tried. And in the end, you thought it best to control me. No different than our enemies. Basim! Over here! I... I know what this is. Why did he grab her hand? Was he like, nah, bitch, you're gonna cut way too deep. The key. <laughs> like, that is very weird. She will follow. No. She cannot. You saw it yourself. What the hell's all these More dishes? of those objects. I wonder what truths lie within. What stories they serve to tell. Whatever <sighs> lies within carries grave importance. For the hidden ones. For the order of the ancients. For me, what have we walked into? Where has my path brought us? You do not want to know why anyone was brought to this place. Have we seen these discs before? I can't, like, distinctly remember, but for some reason I want to say we have. But I don't know... Where? Like, for some reason, the things, the are two things coming into mind are Valhalla, me? which would make sense. Are you seeing this? Or, uh, and yeah. for some reason, uh, revelations with Ezio. Wherever we are, it was built long ago. To serve what purpose, I do not know. I do. How? I... I do not know. Niha, you are worrying me. I mean, I see a door there. Yeah, something's definitely up with her. I don't know that it's like she's going to betray us or anything up, you know, but. Oh, don't do that. I mean, there's no way he's making that jump, right? So maybe I just try and go around the other way. Because that jump doesn't look doable. If it is doable, it's got to be like just barely doable in which case fuck you i hate it when games do that it's obviously a lot less of a problem in games like this yeah. but i mean in Looking platformers here. that like to say oh look at how difficult we are all they do is just basically make it so that you have to jump at the last possible second to get the absolute to land on like the first pixel of the next platform and it's like fuck you Oh, well, this looks similar I to the, uh... This place. 
Valhalla had those yeah. arm thing. Oh no, I guess that that's <gasps> Okay. And what's inside the box? Dude, I don't. I was just about to say I don't think that's how that works, but apparently it is. It, it cannot be. Um. So Nihal was never real. Why do I know this? This is part of your reality, Vassal. I am a part of your reality. Oh, that's why he... But she still took the knife out of... Oh. I will not be behind every step of the way. You killed It was a good idea to steal from the palace. Let me out of here! How? What? What are you? Look! See for yourself! Serestos! Do him my words are hasty! Stalos! You dare to hide from me now? After all you have put me through! Where are you? I mean, I don't remember every time Nihal was on screen to know whether or not her not existing makes sense. Uh, the parts that I can think of, she didn't interact with anyone else. The in my dreams. But... The figure from these visions... They are one and the same. But she did take his dagger out. Is this what I have been near seeing? the at the end there. Like that's the, the only thing I could think of. Ago. And it would be weird if it was the only part that they fucked up on because it's so close to the reveal that so she wasn't weird. real. And to be but fair, her not being real, it, it's played like a so big revelation, so but at the same me. time, I feel like she wasn't this nearly so... in the but story enough you. for it to be a big revelation, no. you know? Why am I seeing this? I don't know. Maybe you weren't real either. Oh. This way we go. This space. As I move through it, I see nothing but the memories that stir my soul. In these moments of adversity is when I felt the Jinni nearest. That unrelenting fear, paralyzing me in my weakest state. I mean, to be fair, you didn't even get to kill the last I never understood bitch there, that it was so I mean, enough, or why it haunted me so. It's quite possible that if you had, remember, you know, we would be a little bit further along in I your mental in breakdown. Cell, begging for it all to stop. Good way to end an action game, right? Slowly Who I walking once was from point my to secret point. retribution. But if I am to move beyond this pain, then what I want is peace. Well, then you have a funny way of getting it. Because you remain in the assassin. It is time to put an end to this. Go all the way to England to 
team up with some Vikings and uh, the cell, my and betray cell. the Vikings. I am nearly to there. get locked into a machine, no which then uh, allows you to travel into the future to betray somebody. Else. Well, I guess I. I don't know if you can really consider him what he did to Layla a betrayal because I feel like the fact that they didn't know each other beforehand is kind of like, eh, can that really be called a betrayal? I mean, he definitely fucked her over. But I mean... <gasps> the Jinni. I can hear it. Leap of faith, Basim. It's the answer to everything. I know you now. I see you for what you are. A crippling memory from a past life. And that is where you will remain. It is over. No, Basim. It is only the beginning. For us. For what lies ahead. A deeper understanding of the world we left behind, and our place in it. All my life I wrestled with who I was. Who I was meant to be. And there you were, all this time. The side of me I resisted. reflection of who we once were of who we shall be once more there is so much that awaits us a new world let me show you I will never see you again will I will I be alone you are never alone It is done.
You made your choice. Now, I make mine. Wadaan Roshan bin Ahad. It was an honor. Come, Barthin. We have much to discuss. <laughs> that we do, mentor. This memory I buried of this place, this prison, the torture I suffered here, it festered for years. In darkness and dreams, masked as a jinni, to haunt me and hollow me until it consumed my waking life. But I have faced my past, my pain, embraced it. I shed my skin once, in another time. Another place. But I am whole again. I remember. And as for those who thought to bind me, should any of them still walk the earth? I so look forward to our reunion. But until that day, a new world awaits. Okay, so. Basim is obviously a descendant, like a, a more direct, I don't know how you can be a more direct descendant of one of the Isu, but whatever. Because in Valhalla, they made it seem like he's supposed to be Loki, right? So, the whole him trying to get there, Nihal was an illusion, but she took the dagger out. And I want to say, at the very least, he mentioned her to other people. But I want to say at one point that, oh, maybe not. I mean, I'd have to, like, replay the game quite a bit, quite, or at least a little bit of the game, to actually see that scene again. Or just go back and watch the video that I made in it. But I don't care nearly enough. So I'm, I'm going to say that the only point they fucked up is her taking the dagger out for him. I mean, like, I get that they had him then grab the dagger to actually do the cut, but that doesn't change the fact that the dagger made it from the sheath on his back to over top of his hand before he grabbed the dagger himself. Like, I understand that him grabbing the dagger was supposed to be the C, because she couldn't really do it. It's like, no, but she also shouldn't have got the dagger to that point in the first place. Um, so Nihal was just there to push him so that he would uh go to the place and get and get there because that's where they had contained loki i guess um which then triggered the uh the whole you know genetic memory thing and basically gave basim Basim, all of the memories from Loki, I guess. Uh, so now, is he Basim? Is he Loki? Is he both? Is he neither? Who knows? Well, we do. He's very clearly an asshole, so. He's not the, uh, he's not the fun Marvel Loki. <laughs> Although, I guess, I, you know, when, you know, the first few times he wasn't very much fun either and he was still just a funny ass but still an asshole um but yeah i mean 
I feel like they didn't do it great. If you, uh, because like he opened the thing and it was empty, right? Like there wasn't anybody in there. Like obviously he saw Nihal there, but she wasn't actually there. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's just for some, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I guess the same thing kind of that made Cassandra a demigod, just the Isu bloodline or the bloodline. Yeah, just like people with the bloodline kept banging so that they you know ended up with a with a kid that had even more like had a stronger bloodline connection to isu than others i guess i mean considering how long ago the isu were i feel like it's ridiculous that anyone would have that strong of a connection but you know whatever uh yeah i mean overall the game was good. I mean, it was definitely short. Um, at the same time, it was way shorter, or it felt way shorter than even like the Ezio games. But at the same time, we also didn't have a hundred feathers to collect. We did only have one map, but uh, Brotherhood took place just in Rome, right? And uh, Revelations only had one map. So, I mean, if I went back and played those, took out the, you know, 100 feathers or 100 uh, whatever, I think because um, two had the 100 feathers. And I want to say Brotherhood had less feathers, but they had a different collectible. Same with three, I think, or Revelations. I think Revelations had like a data, data chunks or something that and I had like 100 of those because you needed to get like 80 of them and then it gave you the rest of their locations or if you got 50 of them you could then buy the map to the rest or something like that so i mean the game is shorter it could be that the less collectibles play a big part in that and i mean i don't know how many people saying that it's shorter 100 percented the other games or not I mean, it's very clearly shorter than like Origins, Odyssey, and Brother and Valhalla. I mean, there's no questioning that whatsoever. Um, but I don't know if it's if it's shorter than like two Brotherhood and Revelations. Um, but I mean, like the map was good. The like the location was good. It was fun to run around. Like I said, I did enjoy the uh, not being able to climb everything. I did actually like that. They went back to, you know, handcrafted paths through the city and whatnot. You know, as you ran away, I do I do much prefer that. I mean, obviously, being able to climb on everything opens up a lot more opportunities for stuff. But it also makes it significantly harder for them to, like, make a mission. Because, like, there was a lot of missions on here where it's like look for a way in whereas if this was like odyssey well the way in is just climb the fuck over it because i can climb everything you know it'd be like playing breath of the wild it's like oh you must find your way and it's like okay i'm gonna climb now granted breath of the wild just had unclimbable surfaces which is another way to do it but uh it calls into question why you can climb everything else um but yeah i mean like, the gameplay was fine. The combat was... Just as shit as it was in the, in the original games. I mean... I mean, once you get out of stealth... It, the combat was never great. I mean, it basically just turned into counter kill. And then chain that kill into other kills. I mean... Um, but yeah, like the stealth and that was fine. I didn't like I definitely had some spots where it's like that's bullshit. Like most recently, the guy that I tailed the entire way without being spotted. And then once it no longer mattered, he just immediately pulled out his sword and attacked me. Um That was bullshit. And there was like a couple other just like minor things like that. I don't know how many of them were on camera and how many were while I was doing stuff in between. But it was nothing major anyway. Um the armor in that, eh, I mean, the the abilities that were on the armor were, like, kind of meh. 
especially since you had to upgrade the armor to use them and the ones that had the most useful ones which were the less noise during assassinations and less noise while moving um well the less noise during assassinations was you got as part of the main story so and then same with like the weapons in that since the open combat kind of was shit uh none of those really came into play all that much and most of them were kind of crap anyway but i mean i don't really see a way that they like i don't really don't see a way that they could have done it better without just having different co like open combat anyway uh as for tools to use i want to say probably three still holds the uh the high ground on those i mean just the uh the rope dart by itself uh was better than anything we had here because i mean they all had throwing knives obviously uh, the different upgrades in that for them were good. I like that better than uh, Revelations just here's 50 different bombs. You know, I much prefer uh, being able to upgrade them in that. I really wish more of the tools were lethal. Because realistically, we had the throwing knives as a lethal. I mean, you could change the, uh, the smoke bombs, but they weren't lethal. You could change the, the trip mines, but they weren't actually lethal. Uh, you could change the uh, the noisemakers, but it wasn't actually lethal, which just meant that you damaged and pissed off a bunch of guards if you used any of those to try and, like, as an offensive weapon. Uh, the blow dart obviously worked, uh, but if you use the poison, it wasn't lethal with one shot. And if you use the berserk, it if you use the berserk and got the one skill, it was lethal in one shot. Now the fact that you could change the blow dart between sleep, poison, and berserk was great. That was fantastic. They just needed to make the poison better, um, and make the and do something with the berserk enemies to make them better, because like without the. Uh, the extended duration even like the big guys that do the most damage couldn't kill one little dude before it ran off before it ran out like the berserk darts were definitely lackluster in this game um the throwing knives i i like i actually really like the way they did the upgrades for the throwing knives where you had it where you had the poison if you didn't if you weren't sure about your headshots and you had the other ones that just did your headshots better um and then the being able or the bodies disintegrating when you killed them with the oh fuck off uh that disintegrated the bodies if you killed them with the throwing knives that was insanely overpowered because the body disappeared and even if the guard saw the guy die it didn't register that there was a dead body in front of it so he just kind of went and looked around and was like, huh, and then left. Um, the notoriety, I feel like they did pretty good. Uh, the three levels. I, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what the second level is. It showed a picture of a bow, but I don't know if that just meant, like, there's more archers or, the, like, the, the guys on the rooftops will be more aware of you running around on the street. I honestly have no idea what the second tier did. But obviously the first tier was just that if you hung around guards for too long, they'd be like, wait a minute. But here's the thing, because obviously that's something that was in other games as well. But they did it better in this game because you actually had to hang around the guards long enough for them to recognize you before they started to actually detect you. Whereas in other games specifically, three from what I remember, you got one wanted level, walked within a hundred feet of a guard and he's like you i am fucking coming to kill you motherfucker and it's like oh just why uh so i feel like they did that really well and then the uh the third tier having the guy hunting you was good uh i feel like the guy was a bit much in that you couldn't stealth kill him i feel like him just being more aware of the surroundings or something would have been better and he is a significantly harder fight than any of the other enemies uh so i i feel like that probably would have been better but if you could actually uh still stealth kill him that would have been better and the fact that once you killed him it reset your notoriety was nice 
um unnecessary i feel like they honestly i don't think that they should have done that uh i think they should have had like a cooldown on them like i'm not saying that they should have just constantly sent these super powered guys after you but i feel like you know they send one after you and then you kill them and then like you know you have like i don't know 10 50, 5 to 15 minutes depending on how they want to do it to get your notoriety down before they send another one like five minutes isn't very long but at the same time, it shouldn't take you longer than five minutes from killing one of them to find a wanted poster to tear down, you know? But I mean, in the end, I, it doesn't really make that much of a difference that you reset your notoriety. It just basically saved you a step. Um, uh, other than that, though, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I have... I mean, honestly, my biggest negative about this game is that fucking last book was in that you couldn't get that last book until you were doing the final mission. That that annoys the fuck out of me. Um, if they had had that in just a different room so you could have collected it before. Now, granted, the reward for it is a skill point and, a, and an outfit, but still. Let me finish the map so that I beat the final ball or like I do the final mission and the game is over. Now, granted, I still did because obviously you kill the final guy and then you have that whole mission to go. So it's not as bad. And I guess saying that you can't get the book until the last mission is a bit much. It's technically the second last. But still, I feel just just move that book somewhere else. Like if you want to keep it on the palace grounds to make it harder, that's fine. Just don't put it inside, like move that book to outside somewhere so that you can still pick it up without having to have this second last mission uh, active. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was nice going investigating your targets and then going to kill them. I mean, uh, like I'm playing Odyssey and obviously most of the guys, the investigation for them is like, Oh, there's a clue somewhere here. And then you pick up a clue and then it just tells you where the guy is. I mean, the clue usually doesn't tell you what the, where the guy is, but you pick up the clue reveals who it is. And then it tells you, uh, but like right now I'm doing the, uh, oh, I don't remember what they're called. One of the islands I want to call I want to say is called Delos Mykonos maybe. Anyway, you get there and there's a rebellion against the, the leader and whatnot, right? And you have, you have like the leader of the rebellion, which is the woman who wants to do it, you know, take out everything to make, to like weaken him and everything. And then you have the Spartan guy that's supposed to be helping her that just wants to have a more direct approach. And like you have the quest lines for them and, they, and it actually has an effect on stuff and everything. Um, and it's really cool. But at the same time, because it's Odyssey, and the guy is the leader of the place you can just roll up and kill him and it just eliminates all these quests and it's like that's not very fun whereas like in this one here you have your targets and you needed to do stuff uh to draw them out to get to them and to kill them um i am very like honestly if it would let me replay the lot like the last mission i 100 percent would just to check out what the other options I had for getting into the palace was. Because I, I used the rebels because they were there. They were the first one I saw. And I'm like, yeah. And it's like, yeah, fuck yeah, rebels. And then the rebels just got their asses handed to them. It was horrendous. So, I mean, I don't know about the other ways to get into the building or to get into the palace. How good they are in comparison. But at the very least, that one there needs to be fixed because it's like those rebels were just worthless like they took out a few guys from out like outside in the palace grounds but they couldn't even get rid of them like you had two doors that you had to open for them you get the first door open you knock the things off and they don't open the door first of all and bust in and start wrecking shop you have to kill or at the very least run past and alert what was there three or four guards in front of that door that you had to go and open so i mean first of all to fix it fucking make it so that if you destroy the barrier or the yeah the barrier on it the guys will come in themselves instead of having you open the door for them 
and then have them strong enough to take the courtyard. I mean, because like you're like they take the courtyard and then you can get inside and open that door for them for them to come in. But like they came in and then they <coughs> they just all died. Like I had one guy left at the end there and he probably ran off and died because when I finished, you know, he was running away. And I mean, it would have been so good if having them come in and do it meant that once you killed the bitch, you didn't have the guards at the end chasing you. Because you let in the rebellion and they took the place. Now, whether or not other places will, uh, other, like maybe, like I said, if I could replay the last mission or that mission, I definitely would. Because, like, without having to replay the whole game, obviously. Because, like, I want to see what, like, maybe the other entrances do allow for more, for more stealthy. Because obviously, letting the rebels in is the least stealthy way to do it. Well, I guess the least stealthy way to do it is just to go in and wreck shop yourself. But I mean, but then like at the same time, like I went and talked to her kid and he was the one who ended up ringing the bell to alert the guards to me. So like, is it possible? Like if I didn't kill him, because like, I mean, we found the chick that we saw at the harem and it had the marker on her. I couldn't do anything with it, though. Like I thought I could talk to her, but it wasn't letting me talk to her. So I don't even know what it would like how it would have like what i was supposed to be doing with her maybe i was supposed to follow her but i don't know uh and then obviously there's the eavesdrop that we didn't do but so possibly at the like once again if i could replay it i wouldn't go and see him i would just find my way to the library and see if i could then just solve the puzzle and get in there right and like her at the end as soon as you open the door she started to run away but like is it possible to kill her anyway like if you're fast enough and she starts to run away can you like whip out a throwing knife and hit her with it i don't know get the blow dart out and put her to sleep i don't know because obviously if you chase her there you have the whole conversation in that with her so i'm assuming you can't i mean it's very twisty and turny I would be very impressed with anybody who could manage to hit her with a throwing knife before she gets around a corner. Like, I feel like it's very much built the way it is so that you can't do that. Because obviously, if you kill her before that, then you don't have the whole conversation with her. Basim doesn't have the whole, I need to go back to Alamut and see what's underneath it thing. And it just would eliminate the entire last mission and the ending of the game, right? So I doubt that you could do it that way, but... Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I'd probably give it a good... I'd, I'd say an 8 out of 10. I mean, like I said, I don't have very many major complaints, but there's definitely things that needed, and still do, need to be worked on that shouldn't have to be worked on you know like they've made games like this before now obviously that doesn't mean that the people who made this game had anything to do with any of the other ones but they still have examples of the other games and they have years worth of people talking about them to know what did work in them what didn't work in them like the fact that we had so many quests to follow people astounds me because it was I'm pretty sure unanimously the least favorite part of the games for the other people. Now, like I said, while doing one of them, the fact that there isn't like a, a hundred percent sync thing definitely helped them because there was, there was very little cost to failure, you know? So, I mean, while they did have them in there, they weren't as bad as they were in the previous games purely because it didn't have the full sync thing. Uh, that being said, I do kind of miss the full sync thing uh, for the missions. Obviously, for like the assassination missions and that, the fact that they had like the the options to go in or of different ways to go in uh, that it may not work with that. But speaking of which, I don't think that they did that very well either. When you had a mission, it's like, oh, search for ways to go in sometimes it was too hard to find like when we went into the prison i ran around that prison the only option that i had to get help to go in was to hire the mercenaries to go in 
I know, like I ran around there and I never saw like I never had another option pop up on my screen or that I saw for something else that I could do to get into that prison. So, I mean, there were other ones, obviously, where I, uh, I, you know, I chose a path and I saw other paths that I could have taken. Um, that being said, this game definitely would have benefited from a uh, God, that's a lot of credits. Uh, benefited from a uh, mission replay like in previous like in older Assassin's Creed games mission replay always a good idea obviously it's a lot harder in like open world games and that but I mean in a game like this it is open world but I feel like they probably could do it I mean it wouldn't be hard to just like go to the thing hit like I want to re oh, excuse me I want to replay this mission. I mean, it's not like they have to worry about like taking stuff away from you, like make sure that you only have what you would have had, like that you did have at that time or that you could possibly have had at that time, you know, just, just let us like a, like a mini new game plus, you know, uh, I'm going to start to fast forward here because yeah, it's taken way too long and I am very much running out of shit to talk about. I should have started this from the beginning. Um, I may cut this into three part or into two parts because we're almost at two fucking hours already. Granted, a lot of that is credits and cutscenes, but uh, I, I think I will cut this and this will actually be three parts this week. Uh, but yeah, I'd say a solid eight out of ten. It's a decent game. It is kind of short for the price, like for a full price game. It is kind of short, but I mean, at the same time, it is a fairly high quality game. Um. So even being that short, I mean, you know, and in all honesty, I would much prefer Assassin's like games to be like this, like small, detailed, like one map, you know, like in all honesty, playing this, it made me miss. It made me miss the uh, the older Assassin's Creed. Like I like right now, I'm, I'm uh, seriously thinking of going back and playing Black Flag. Going back and playing maybe the Ezio trilogy, maybe even Assassin's Creed 3, because I actually have the remastered version of that and none of the achievements in it. Well, that's not true. I think I have some. I think I did start that game. And then something else distracted me and I started playing something else. I don't know why I stopped playing it. Because I don't much care for the story in 3, but I love the game itself. Like, the gameplay is fucking stellar in 3. It may be my favorite gameplay-wise. Brotherhood's still my favorite game overall, but... And Revelations, I think, is my favorite game story-wise. But I think 3 may be my gameplay favorite. I do like the boats in 4. But uh, but yeah, so that was it for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, I don't know what I'm playing next. I can, actually, I, I, I have two things that I'm playing around with in my head. One is a game that I've never played before. Um, will prob that will probably take a while. I'm just not sure because the combat is turn-based, like is a turn-based style. Although I guess I did play other ones that are kind of turn-based. Anyway, I, I don't know. And then the other one is a game that I have played before, 100%ed it, but it's a fairly old game. But I've been, kind of been wanting to replay it, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably throw up a poll which by the time this video comes out, you will have uh, seen. Uh, and I mean, by the time this video comes out, the poll will probably be closed, but you know, uh, well, no, cause this will come out on Friday. So I mean, the poll won't, well, I, mean, I never really close them, but I mean, I mean, if I save that for my recording on the weekend, it'll be fine. So, I mean, I'll throw up a poll. I'll see if there's any other games that I have an itch to play. But I'll, and then I'll throw up a poll with the with the options that I come up with and see what you guys say. Because, I mean, I'll, honestly, either of the two that I currently am deciding between would be fine with me. Uh, so if I find any others. But yeah, I'll let the credits finish going. I really wish I'd started fast forwarding from the beginning. Apparently, everybody on the planet fucking made this game. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next time for more.